What's going on, trading card family? So, I just done my first of Core Kitstarter pledge in the mail, and I just wanted to show y'all what you did if you did the all in reward, because honestly, it looks epic, and I just can't wait to show it to y'all. And most importantly, for anyone who isn't familiar with Akora, I want to show you why you really don't want to miss out on Akora's brand new second Kitstarter that has booster bots, to structure debts, and the whole nine yards. Now, let's get to it. Alright, trading card family, so I'm pretty much just going to show you what uh, you can expect to get if you went did the full reward bundle on the first Accor kit starter. So first we have the prototype pack of cards and it is really nice, really cool for an early pack art. Uh, just so you know with the new kit starter and future products this has already changed. This is never to be recreated again. So I'll let you do with that knowledge what you will. Me personally I'm not going to open this because uh, like I said it's never going to be traded again. They only made enough of these packs to fill the orders for people that pledged on the first kit starter. And uh, yeah, it's got 10 cards in it, and it's got older prototypes of Madden Tatina, Atihane, and the Seraph Zero. So you already pretty much know what's in here. Uh, if someone does decide to open theirs, I'm almost positive it's the same 10 cards in each pack, but I do know for a fact you did those three in here. So like I said, it could be very, very collectible in the future, and uh, with the way the momentum of this new kit starter is going, I would already deem it highly collectible. Uh, next you have the Seraph Zero Full Art, and this is a prototype... Uh, this is a prototype within itself that's already changed. If you go to the uh, Accord TCG catalog on Instagram, you can see what the new full art is going to look like. So this is a prototype, uh, not to be traded again. So very, very exciting and a very beautiful card. Uh, this was also a stretch goal, as well as this card right here, one of my personal favorites, Madden Tatina. And I know it's kind of hard to tell what's going on if you've seen the old Madden Tatina, i.e. this artwork. Um, but there's Madna right there, and it looks like some sort of dragon that he's conjuring and or defeating. Either way, beautiful cards, and really, really nicely done. Good job, Akora. This one uh, is actually probably my personal favorite from the whole kit starter. So this is a Seraph Zuru, but with the uh, neon creator signature, so that's Zeon. Or sorry, Etzion. <laughs> that's the Etzion signature. And, uh, it was hard to notice, uh, but I, it caught my eye, and uh, so now you can see kind of what the difference is. You have the Etzion right there, and right there. And once again, another thing, only created for the kit starter, never printed again. They really gave us an insane amount of value, so thank you, Kenju and Etzion. Okay, we got uh, Cinco Ken. Very awesome. Uh, for anyone who's seen the second kit starter, may not have been around for the first one or even just has been looking at the core page. Uh, he's one of the new faces of one of the stretcher debts that's coming out. Uh, one of the two stretcher debts for the new kit starter. Well now three, just we've reached the stretch goal. So thank you Accor community, super epic. Uh, but yeah, and uh, you did this one signed. This was a card that was included in the full reward. Very, very nice. So these two are probably the most interesting thing that I think are going to be extremely, extremely sought after. The Sleeping Dragon Kitstarter promos. Uh, the only way to obtain these is if you bat the first Kitstarter and uh, if you did the full reward, you got a slab and a raw one. I, I'm pretty sure you got that first some of the other rewards too. But yeah, uh, and that's awesome. Uh, June 11th, 21, signed Etzion. That is the day that the first kit started up fully funded and pledged and uh, so made history so it's very exciting and a very very beautiful card uh, for anyone that has looked at the second kit starter uh, stretch goals have already been unlocked for the stage two and three and the wait until that is in the left corner so stage one is sleeping dragon and others uh, stage two and three of sleeping dragon with that being said, I know this card is going to be highly sought after, and I want to help out the Accor community. So if you are new and batting the second kit starter, or not, and you just wanted to collect the uh, first stage Sleeping Dragon, or if there's someone out there that wants to complete the set later on, uh, just hit me up on Instagram, and I'd love to, you know, try and figure it out, and we can do a trade or something, or, you know, we'll figure it out then. It's neither here nor there. But I just want to help someone be able to complete a set. So let me know. You know, it's an extra raw one. So, very exciting, and uh, definitely worth the money, undoubtedly. I mean, you're getting custom prototype cards that are going to be created in for a game that is nothing short of taking off and really sending ripples all throughout the TCG community. Now, with that being said, 
I've uh, been following her tour since before even their first kit starter and I was able to actually acquire some more cards so I just want to show those to the community and kind of talk about different prototypes because I think y'all will really appreciate that. So uh, we'll go through this top part. I just got these uh, not too long ago so a lot of it I'm seeing for the first time so let's see. So we got Moku, it's the Proto 2021. Very nice. Dart Zero Pro 2021. Very nice. I actually wanted to talk a little bit about the different protos. I think that'll really help people out and be able to identify them. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's what that's where it was. My apologies. So if you look at like for example on these three protos right here. You have the Kuzu that has the two alchemy symbols right there. And then Mandatitina's type symbol is red on this one. And on the Proto 2021s, the type is a rainbow neon. So that's an easy way in the future to tell the difference between the different prototypes. These are the earliest ones where it has the two alchemy symbols. Then it switched to a type symbol uh, that was just red, every card was just red. And now you have the neon and then corresponding neon with a uh, attribute. So just a little quick information I thought everyone would appreciate to know that. Because I've been following it, even sometimes I didn't confused. But yeah, we have a Moku and a Dart Zero 2021. Hisu Zariza. Or Okana Zariza. Very nice. Motuhitu 2021 and a Suriza Snake Charmer <laughs> Kotai Gormu Shimo, which I think is ended gonna end up being a fan favorite really. Uh does one the artwork is awesome and uh just looks cool. The blue neon does the artwork so much justice. Toyota Gormu Glacier Mountain Look at that, that looks amazing. I just realized there's like the little text under the type right there and it just looks phenomenal. Another Cinco Ken, the two of them. Very nice. Azuru, uh, Coyote Gormu. I love this guy, he's one of my favorites, hands down. Mokuhane, beautiful card, beautiful, beautiful card. We have a Gormu pro Proto. <clears throat> Dark Zuru Proto and a Zuru Proto. Divine Blade and a Ceriza. Motuhito and another Motuhito and another Motuhito and a Zuru. Very nice. It's awesome pr Protos. Jinro Kuzu. Seraph Zuru. Kuzu. Tatina. Tommy Chuzu, what do we have here? Oh, assigned Etzion Atihane. I love it. Very nice, very nice. What does this say? Okay, it's a Madness Athena, signed Etzion. To trading card, bro. Great interview, Etzion. Wow. That's awesome. I actually wasn't expecting that. Like I said, I'm looking through these for the first time now. I pretty much opened the mail and, uh, you know, had the kit starter and then the rest of the protos that I had uh, gotten for a while. I had the stash and to trading card bro. Great interview. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, Akora. Appreciate you a lot. Now, these are what I'm very excited about, and these are going to be centerpieces of my collection for a very long time, besides uh, this very unexpected gym right here. I mean, I can't get over that. That's that's awesome. And that is these beautiful slabs. So, have the Madness Tatina Proto in a slab signed Etzion. Seraph Zuru in a slab signed Etzion. And then this bad boy, which uh, very few in existence. And this is, these are actually, just so you know, these were initially going to be the full arts that were in the first edition release for what's going on in the second kid starter. However, they weren't, uh, Etzion and Tenju weren't 
completely satisfied and they wanted to take it to even the next level which is the new full arts that you're seeing on the Acora TCG catalog so that's really exciting and uh, I would definitely use that as a reference as that is definitely stuff that's going to be on first edition but yeah I mean this is awesome what an epic card and I'm really excited because it looks amazing you can just see the evolution of the game right this is the Akihane that was initially designed and that wasn't good enough so now they went to this which looks phenomenal. I mean, it's literally a beautiful card. And this wasn't good enough as a full art proto, or promo, or, you know, full art card in the set. So now they went to the next level and made the new ones. And not just for Atihane, but for Madness Tina, Seraph Zuru, and uh, Madness uh, Madna Cage. Sorry, that's going to be the fourth full art that you can get in the first edition set. And they all look phenomenal. And that's huge. So uh, thank you, Denacor, for letting me showcase some of this. It's amazing. It really is. And uh, you saw it here first. The uh, first kit starter was amazing value, and it showed up in a really fast amount of time. Really didn't take long at all. And I know they're going to break more records with the second one. So definitely hop on that. It's filling up fast. It is filling up so fast. I, I can't believe it myself. All right, trading card family, you just done an exclusive look at the brand new Acora kit starter. And honestly, nothing short of amazing. Like the value that you get right here is nuts. Look at all these prototypes and look at how good they look. It's absolutely insane. And that was the first kit starter. So if you got on it, good for you. You got your sleeping dragons because now with the second kit starter, the stretch cards are already the uh, stage two and three of Sleeping Dragon. And it honestly, just looks amazing. Uh, if you're watching this and you're not familiar with Akora, highly recommend going and checking out their kit starter because the value is just immense what they're putting out right now. And Akora delivers on time and they make a quality product and it's always cards first. Uh, and uh, you're seeing it right here. This, this uh, kit starter did not close out too long ago and there's already cards sitting on my desk and I'm making a YouTube video about it. So if that doesn't say anything about their determination to put out a quality product, I don't know what does. But until next time, uh, I'm the Trading Card Bro, and I appreciate y'all checking this out. Go check out that kit starter. If you're new to the page, subscribe, hit the bell notifications, and I'll see you next time. Peace.